separated, so all here I am starting it. Nothing special. Zach's smiling and smirking by the background there. He thinks this is funny for some reason. So, yeah. He's gonna acetone, I'm gonna paint. He's gonna also tack cloth it after he's done acetoning. Oh, what? What are you doing? You smell burning. So what you see here is the first steps that we took in painting the bus. We used Tractor Supply tractor paint and it was probably the best decision we made when it came to painting the bus. It worked really thick, it spread very well, it also uh, is very water resistant and wear resistant. We applied the paint using foam rollers and foam paint brushes. It worked better, didn't leave any streaks or marks uh, that a normal bristle brush would do, and it didn't leave anything behind when it came to like a typical roller. We started from the top down, painting it a light Ford gray color, decided to do black accents for the windows, the mirrors, and other features on the bus. Now, surprisingly, we only ended up using a gallon and a half of this tractor paint, and that got us two full coats on the bus. Um, it's about $30 a can, but it is well worth it because it just covers so well. We were very, very impressed with it. In the beginning, we were really super excited to do paint, and it was a lot of fun, but once you start painting for, say, three or four weekends in a row, it starts to get tiresome. And so we were very, very happy when we were all done and started to work more towards the inside of the bus, getting that torn out and remade to what we have now. So hopefully uh, we'll have more videos here shortly to explain more of that. Thanks for watching.